Hello and welcome. Thank you for watching. Uh, my name is Wes and um, you can also follow me on the Universal Life Church of Massachusetts on Facebook. Please hit subscribe if you'd like uh, more uh, to be notified and have them come up um, on YouTube when you visit. Uh, today I want to talk about enlightenment. What is enlightenment? This is an interesting topic because uh, all the religions in the world, from Christians to uh, to uh, Buddhists to Taoists, uh, they're all trying to teach what enlightenment is. That's what all these religions have in common. Now, some people call it awakened, um, uh, achieving Christ consciousness, but we're going to call it enlightenment today. I also have a video on uh, Are You Awake? You can check that out. This is more information on a similar subject because I get a lot of questions. So I want to go over it here today and try to uh, describe to you what enlightenment is. Um, first off, it's a natural process that human beings go through uh, in their lifetime. Like a caterpillar builds a cocoon, goes in, and comes out a butterfly. There's a transformation. Humans do the same thing in their psyche. Um, and religions have been trying to explain this uh, up until the point where we started calling them religions. The word religion comes from the uh, Greek word uh, regulaire. Um, to, which means to tie back or bind. And that's what religions uh, on one aspect can do. Tie you back, your mind back, and bind your mind to keep you from ever turning into the butterfly. To keep you out as a caterpillar. And that's uh, what they have done since that term came around. Prior to that, the early religions, they were designed to, uh, they were designed as teachings about enlightenment. Um, so we got to realize that there is a good side and a bad side to everything that's part of the teaching within ourselves, within the world. There's a positive and negative. There is polarity. And that is something you need to understand to be enlightened, to achieve enlightenment. Now, what is it when you achieve enlightenment? Well, enlightenment is more than just learning knowledge. It does mean learning knowledge. But this knowledge is about yourself and your psyche and untangling your mind and understanding exactly how it works because when you do that, it changes. It has physical changes to your mind when you, when you examine it. The pineal gland, which is in the center of the brain, activates releasing chemicals that give you a euphoric feeling. Some people, during the moment of enlightenment, pass out because of the, uh, what's taking place. It's like an epiphany. You're finding out something that changes everything about your life and the world you live in and how you perceive it. And this experience also unlocks parts of the frontal lobe of the brain, which you, uh, has been proven by brain scans of people who have been enlightened and people who haven't. The frontal lobe of the brain is more active. There is a physical change that happens. And um, if you want to achieve this, which I, if people who have been enlightened want to share it and help others with it, because they believe if you haven't figured this out and you haven't achieved enlightenment, you haven't lived. You're still a caterpillar. 
you're never going to turn into a butterfly and unfortunately most people stay caterpillars their whole life and die uh, and that brings up the stories of possibly does a soul come back uh, to live again and experience until they finally become the butterfly possible I don't know that we're not talking about that today we're talking about enlightenment and that's basically what it is now I it's not something that can be explained in words because it's an experience it's not um, something that can be defined by words all I can do is explain things and give you some ideas to draw you closer to it and then it's up to you and it's done by self-evaluation of your psyche so there's going to be some things I'm going to read to you which may help you with that first of all if you think being enlightened makes someone better then you're not enlightened and enlightenment doesn't make anyone better it's an experience of life for example if you never experience riding a roller coaster it doesn't make you less of a human being but to some people they may think it's an experience you shouldn't miss it's an experience uh, it also comes with learning about yourself uh, people that are enlightened control their emotions um, that doesn't mean that you don't get angry and you don't get sad um, but it means that you control them you don't allow other people to get you angry you can turn off your emotions if you choose because you are in control of them uh, you don't get road rage your anger is focused specifically at the evil in the world and um, even then you understand because with enlightenment comes understanding understanding of what the kundalini the chakras the pineal gland the energies uh, in the body the kundalini and the chakras that are uh, if you don't know about that I'll be doing a video later on um, soon about that um, but these are energy points where emotions are felt because it is about emotions and the psyche that we have to look at um, and like I said uh, it's a you have to face your darkest fears in order to uh, progress to enlightenment there's no easy way it's the destructive process of breaking down the old software and installing new software if you want to look at it like a computer because a lot of people do because that's what it's like um, if you're questioning whether you are already enlightened and you think yeah I think I'm already enlightened you're not because you would not think you are enlightened you would know the experience is so profound there is no question there's a reason why all these religions have been around for thousands of years teaching this stuff and it's not because it's something simple and something trivial it's because it's the most important thing about being alive being human um, if you feel you need to insult people and put other people down to build yourself up unless of course it's pure evil yes I'll put evil down because it's not right well it's evil evil it just is what it is it's part of our world doesn't really deserve to be put down but I don't want people and the people I know to suffer I want less suffering in the world so I will do what I can but I will not put you down because you like the color red and I like the color blue that's trivial that's immature and that's not enlightened um, if you're easily hurt by other people's opinions and those that insult you and you get angry or violent 
you're not enlightened. You've got a long way to go. That's being stuck in the lower chakras. Uh, as you rise up through the chakras and unlock these energies and emotions, you become less and less violent and more peaceful and more understanding and more grateful. Some people say, you know, in order to find your mind, you have to lose it. And like I said, it's software that has to be emptied out. Everything you've learned has to be removed and you have to start fresh. That's the process. So you have to lose your mind to find it. Uh, and if you know what I'm talking about, then maybe you are enlightened. But most people won't know. They'll just think it sounds funny. Um, the other thing is about magic. There's a lot of people out there doing magic. Um, they practice it. And uh, an enlightened person will know and understand magic. But they won't do it. If you're doing magic and you uh, have a magic shop and uh, you consider yourself a mystic and you teach magic and you spells and all these things, you're not enlightened. You're, you're not enlightened. I don't want to say definitely not, but most likely not enlightened because I've never met any enlightened person. And, you know, it, it, it's rare. I don't know... I only know of one other enlightened person that I come into contact with in my life. And uh, I live with that person. Um, and he's the one that enlightened me, that helped me find enlightenment. Um, and I, we, together we know of nobody else. I know of people on the internet uh, and I see them there, but as far as the a couple hundred people that I know and come in contact with, they're not enlightened. Um, some are very close and they're on their way. And it doesn't mean that they're less in any way. If you believe this and you're taking this, if you think this is an arrogant thing that I'm saying, then you are definitely not enlightened. Alright? Because you won't allow my opinions to affect your emotions. That's important. I'm here to give you information to learn, to grow. We're all in this together. It's not a competition. If you think life is a competition, you're definitely not enlightened, because it isn't. And there's a reasons for that. Um, whoops. Um, another thing is, if you call yourself a Republican or a Democrat, you're not enlightened. If you follow the party lines of either one of these groups, definitely not enlightened. Enlightened people think for themselves. They don't follow their leaders. They're, they're free thinking. They've freed their mind of all the uh, need to... Uh, have anyone think for them. So, um, a lot of, most of the enlightened people I come in contact with online, well, most of them don't vote because it's a game for the unenlightened or undarkened, as we call it. It's their, their mess, you know. Um, and everything works out the way it should. Everything works out perfectly. So, um, there's really no need. But that's a story for another time. I don't want to get too much into politics because it's not important. Um, atheists. If you're an atheist, you're not enlightened. I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm saying I'm sorry. I mean, I was an atheist for many, many years. Um, because I didn't believe that there was an invisible man in the sky that grants self-serving wishes. And I was right. There isn't. But that's not God. There is a God. And it's not an invisible man in the sky that grants wishes. If I had to explain it to you, which is hard to explain, God is a, <coughs> a quality in you. And if you need a creator, it's light. Created everything there is. There was a big bang that created light and created everything. 
there's your creator. And within that light are all the building blocks for consciousness and a quality which is love, which is God. And uh, I have other videos on that. I just wanted to point out if you're an atheist, then you're not enlightened. Plain and simple, because enlightened people have had an experience with God. So there's no way someone who doesn't believe in God, because you don't experience God, and then say you don't believe in it. Um, and if you're skeptical about that, and you believe that uh, you know, no one can have an experience with God, well, you're definitely not enlightened, because um, you are one with God, and you're having an experience with God as you sit there watching this. You just don't know it. Or maybe you do, if you're enlightened. Um, enlightenment is uh, hard to perceive. It's, uh, it's Like I said, it's an experience, and it's hard to be expressed by words. Um, and like I said, if uh, just repeating the things I say to other people, like I've just said here, um, which you'll see a lot of people doing online, doesn't make you enlightened. Living it and knowing it does. And um, there's a big difference. Those who are enlightened can very easily see others who are enlightened because they do as they say and they say as they do. They live uh, and they see a perception of life that others don't. There's a code that the Bible is written by that uh, enlightened people then live by. Not just the Bible, but all religions. There's a code in this world and you're either living by it or not. Now, uh, enlightened people can hide so that they can't be seen because they're wise enough to know what to what they should and shouldn't do in public. And many times in history they did have to hide because enlightened people were persecuted by the ignorant who are violent and angry or the undarkened, um, which are, is a group of the unenlightened. Um, evil. Um, now the best way, I'm coming to the end here, so I'm going to wrap it up. The best way for you to find enlightenment, and this may sound strange, is to stop looking for enlightenment. But instead, look at yourself. Look at your emotions, look at your mind, use meditation, silence your mind, silence your thoughts on a daily basis. Understand your fears and face your fears in your mind and ask yourself why. Ask yourself why about every emotion. Why, why, why? Examine yourself and enlightenment will find you. Thank you for listening. Uh, please hit subscribe and uh, I hope you have a great day.